Cancer, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of July 18th, 2022. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, JackieTomlin.com if you're seeking a personal reading. Okay, so Cancer, this uh, week you can expect good luck and abundance. Now there's a little bit there that says you may feel a little alone or empty or a day that's kind of down and out for you. That's just going to be brief and passing. You are under an era of new beginnings. There is a warning here to proceed with caution, okay? Uh, you can expect endings, closures, and new beginnings. And, of course, that's always an emotional time. The signing of some type of legal document, you are entering an era of positive thinking and clarity. Things are starting to make a lot of sense to you. Okay, so Cancer, your first message for the week. First card up is the Two of Pentacles. Now, the Two of Pentacles tells me if you guys have been juggling a little bit financially or perhaps borrowing from Peter to pay Paul, that those days are almost over. With that, we have the King of Swords, maybe dealing with the Libra energy. King of Swords, someone like on top of the mountain, King of the Mountain. This is someone of authority, someone that is going to offer you some wise advice, someone that's there to help you out. And moving forward, we have judgment. Mm -hmm. Cancer, this is on you. Do not pass judgment on people because it looks like to me you can be a little judgmental this week. Okay. Do not pass judgment on people. You're going to be wrong. Now, you have the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands comes up as movement on the home front, someone moving in the home, someone moving out the home. If we're not looking at any movement at all, then you're looking at some type of heavy, heavy renovation going on. Center of the reading bonus, we have the High Priestess. That High Priestess says you're grounded, you're centered, and you're very intuitive, but you need to trust where you're being led. Tap into that intuition, know things are going to be all right, know you're on the right path, and trust where you're being led. And with that, we have the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups indicates, you know, there's something here that no longer serves a purpose to you. Someone or something that you're turning your back and you're walking away from it. You're totally done with that. Okay. And we have the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords coming in with the card of self-imposed restrictions. Like I said, there is that one day of the week that I see you just feeling kind of down and out. Um... The only person holding you back this week is you. So remember that as you progress through the week. Then we have the lover's card. You guys are going to be strong in love whether you are married or whether you're single. If you're married, this could also be the love of family, the love of friends. If you're single, this is definitely something new coming into play. And then we have the wheel. And this, of course, indicates that wheel is now turning in your favor. This is what I start, stated at the beginning of your reading. You are under a week of good luck and abundance. Okay, let's go a little bit further with these messages. This is for Cancer for the week of the 18th. All righty, Cancer. You again have the High Priestess is telling you, grounded, centered, trust your own judgment. And on that King of Swords, we have the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is the calm before the storm. This is asking you to get the rest that you need while you need it. And on the Judgment card, we have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups comes in with wish fulfillment, total happiness, and total contentment. On the Knight of Wands, we have the Major Arcana of Strength. Strength is on your side no matter what. There's the strength to get you through anything that you need this week. On the High Priestess, we have the world, as in the world is your oyster. Things are going your way. Really good energy here. Really good energy. And then we have on the Eight of Cups, the Page of Swords. You may be taking a day trip. This is, um, Page of Swords could just mean an outing, a day trip, a friend, someone happy, carefree, lucky, aloof. I'm going to say perhaps a Taurus may resonate here. And on that Eight of Swords, we have the Hangman. You guys are feeling stuck. This is that day that I said there's going to be one day that just things are not, you're just not feeling it. Okay. On the lover's card, there is the nine of swords. Get out your own head. There's something here with those lovers and the love life that's going to cause a loss of sleep. On the wheel, you have the two of wands. Two of wands making future travel plans. 
Okay, for some of you, it's going to be a visit by water, river, lake, and or ocean. And your um, bonus card for the week is the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles tells me you're working on your money. You're working at growing your money. So you could be working on investments. You could be working on a savings account. Some of you could be working on a side hustle or looking at starting your own business on the side. Something of like that, but you're definitely looking to grow and expand your finances. So, Cancer, thank you guys for watching. Do not forget JackieTomlin.com for personal readings. I'll see you guys soon. Have a fantastic week. Bye.